Uh, we're gonna ignore what he's saying. We're gonna go destroy the lamps. I'd much rather uh, destroy those <laughs> lanterns than uh, or lanterns, sorry, than um, than fight Balfour Rings right now. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm, I I was actually being evil for a while in this game, so I need to I need to get back on my evil side. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't think I've ever done this quest being evil. Oh, okay, so that's all I have to do. Pretty simple. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, this guy looks like he wants to kill me. Oh, he did anyway. He took out his sword. Sorry, sir. I didn't want to do this. I feel like an ass. Like, I should really kill the Balverines, but oh well. I thought we were gonna kill everyone in the town, I believe. I think we can still buy the houses and stuff and still generate money, even though I did it this way. Which is kind of funny. This guy does not want to die. And I think it's a glitching because I destroyed all the alignments. There we go. That guy had uh, a lot of health or something. He had like Balverine armor. Anyways. Let's go ahead and travel back to Condor and see what he has to say about all this. I'm sure he would be pleased. And hopefully he hands it over and doesn't like fool me and be like, Oh, now you're gonna die too or something. I, like I said, I don't think I've ever done this quest being evil, so... Hopefully it's... Hopefully this is it. I really don't want to fight Balverines. Vengeance was sweet. A quality shared by many of my former neighbors, as it turns out. Here's what you came for. Seems the least I can do. Visit us again one day when you get the chance. You'll always be welcome here. Oh, so he's the white Valverine. Okay. Oh, don't tell me that. The oh, crap. I thought that was going to be the quest or like fast travel. I didn't know that was going to be Road to Rule. I hate when it does that. Like, I don't want to go to Road to Rule. There's nothing there I need. Now, just nothing except wasting my time. That's about it. Well, that sucks. So let's go ahead and go through the portal and yeah. I cannot believe I did that. I hate that. I don't know why that gives me an option to do that. If I want to go to row to row, I know where I need to go. <laughs> or it should pop up saying like, "Are you sure you want to head there?" Because. I don't know. I guess I guess that was my mistake. I can't keep blaming the game for that. That was just a stupid mistake on my part. Thought it was a quest symbol, not the road to rule symbol. Uh anyways, let's go into fast travel. And where are you at? Right here. Yes. Yes. Um, I also noticed on the map that there's one place I have not been to. I cannot remember what it's called, and I do not know how to get there, and I don't think there really is anything there. So we're just gonna not go there. Um, I believe there was a quest there earlier where you can pay money and they're gonna restore it, but for some reason that never popped up, so I... I just never went there, and I was thinking about going there, but I don't want to waste too much time trying to find the place. You're back. Did you Jeez, look at all these people. Did you recover the statue? Of course he did. He is the king, and thus infallible. If you will hand the statue to me, your majesty, I will endeavor to appraise it. I was drunk as a fart. Oh, okay. Thought maybe she was going to say something. Here you go. I can barely contain my tears. Oh, excuse me, your majesty. I... I can't let you see me this way. 
Uh, and please, make, make good use of it. Nobles, always so much. Hey, we're gonna... Oh. As for this little item, it is every bit as valuable as I hoped it would be. The Prophet shall make a welcome addition to the treasury. Unless, of course... Well, it is your statue now. You could always opt to keep the proceeds for yourself and administer them as you see fit. What do you wish to do, my king? We're going to donate that to the treasury. If I would have kept the money, it's worth it go anyway. Let's just go ahead and make it easier on all of us. Alright, let's left on that daily agenda, so let's see uh, what we got next time. Stolen statue, you allowed Beverings to wipe out an entire village, but your generosity has bought, brought the people of Alabama one step closer to safety. Yes, that's awesome. And now we should be on another day. I don't know what, I think it may be like, it's going to start going down really fast. Okay, see, it just, it was at 252, I think, and now it's at 121. So it's going to go pretty fast. I think this might be close to the last day or um, we have one more day and then that's the final day of rollings and then we finally are at the very end. So um, we have three minutes left so let's see if we can do anything else before then. one's heart with confidence and supreme satisfaction to see the treasury filled to the brim. I have taken to sleeping beneath the gold and can report nothing but restful nights. As for today's first order of business, you may have heard about the dire situation the kingdom's economy finds itself in. Logan's policies always kept our cities on the edge of bankruptcy, and the panic caused by the fast approaching darkness has only exacerbated the situation. I'm afraid the only way to stop this slide into ruin is to bail out Bowerstone's financial institutions. The people are looking at you to save them from economic disaster. But remember that doing so may condemn them to a much darker and bloodier fate. What shall we do, your majesty? Uh, let's go ahead and bail out the economy. I hate to be good, but that's the way it's probably going to turn out. I mean, I have all the money right here. And I want to see this place be a marvelous new world. will be easier for your subjects for a while. But the treasury will not easily recover. I only hope we haven't thrown away our chances of survival. Of course, you could always replenish our gold supplies by donating from your personal funds. Shall we proceed with today's agenda? Okay, consider President Built Military Outpost, Rule of the Future of Misspeak. Oh, okay, finally. Kaelin, the representative for the Auroran people, has requested an audience with you. The court awaits in the throne room. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the throne room. Do some more rulings. Oh, man, that lady is always scrubbing the same spot. <laughs> now, what is that chef doing all the way out here? Get back to work. Yeah, okay, I thought it was going to freeze for a sec. All stand to attention for the Yeah, all stand. I mean, I don't think you can Today sit anyway. You must decide <laughs> how much protection to grant Aurora. Kaylee will offer her proposal. Reva will stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, as you know, the threat from the deserts that surrounds my city has not diminished. The darkness could fall upon us once more at any moment. Aurora is part of your kingdom now, and I ask that you grant us protection. Build a desert outpost that can warn my people should the crawler attack. It shall allow us to leave the city in time and ensure the survival of your loyal subjects. A desert outpost? I've never heard of such nonsense. What should we do next? Erect taverns under the sea? Plant crops on mountain peaks? <laughs> 
It is a foolhardy suggestion. Why should our valiant soldiers suffer sunstroke and chapped lips in a distant land when they could be protecting the people of this very city? Is it really worth risking the lives of all the people outside these walls for a mere alarm system? Of course not. Let us leave the funds and the soldiers where they belong, right here. The darkness poses a threat to us all. But Aurora has already suffered more than its fair share. The final decision rests with you, Your Majesty. Hey, so we're gonna build uh, the desert fort because um, I feel like an asshole for rejecting their proposal. Aurora earlier. is under our protection. It is our duty to build this outpost. The king's decision is yeah. Final. So 